so let's study how to evaluate the Fourier the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse. I have seen that this uh, the Fourier transform of rectangular pulse comes uh, while we analyze many things like uh, in sampling theorem also we need this and in various other uh, places and generally we don't uh, remember like right we just remember that uh, the Fourier transform of our rectangular pulse is sync so let's uh, do it step by step how we get a sync from sync uh, waveform when we uh, the Fourier trans let's try to see that the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse is sync function sync uh, wave so in time domain if we are given that this is our rectangular pulse whose width is t and the amplitude is a and the width is t and is centered around origin so let's take this pulse then first then we, we can generalize <clears throat> so we can write if this is a pulse pt we can also write this pulse as that pt is a when your time is from minus t by 2 to t by 2 and it is 0 otherwise so from the definition of the Fourier transform the Fourier transform of our pulse pt would be pt e to the power minus j 2 pi ft dt and we can call it pf and you see that pt is only 1 or only non zero when your t is minus t by 2 t by 2 so you can just change the limits from minus t by 2 to t by 2 and for these value or for this interval our pulse is having amplitude a else it is zero so all the other intervals is not required so it is a minus t by 2 to t by 2 e to the power minus j 2 pi f t dt correct so your p f would be a times minus t by 2 to t by 2 e to the power minus j 2 pi f t dt if we integrate this the integration of e to the power minus j 2 pi f t would be this and we have to put the limits from minus t by 2 t by 2 and a will be outside <coughs> so we can write 2 pi f t by 2 minus e to the power minus j 2 pi f t by 2 minus minus it will come this and if we just take this minus inside we can also write this e to the power e to the power j 2 pi f t by 2 minus e to the power minus j 2 pi f t now if we replace e to the power j x with cos x plus j sin x this is other formula and by using this formula we can write our p f as a by j pi f small f everywhere So it will be cos 
j pi of t by 2 j pi no j will be because e to the power j x is cos x plus j sin x so it is nothing but x right so we have to replace x with j pi of t by 2 j pi f t by 2 minus no plus 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 j sin again I have put j it's my bad sin pi f t by 2 sin 2 pi f t by 2 so this 2 2 cancel so we replace it with pi f t pi f t it's a very trivial step actually we are just using the formula e to the power g x is equal to cos x plus j sin x so here it will be minus cos of minus pi f t minus pi of t plus j of sine of minus pi of t. Right? Because minus c so it will be minus. Yes. Now this this term will get cancelled because cos of minus x is nothing but cos x. So this this term will be same. This term and this term it will cancel out, and we will have cosine of minus x is sine x uh, minus sine x. So it will become plus and it will be two j sine pi f t. Now we can further simplify this. We can cancel this quantity and our PF is 2A divided by pi F sine pi F t. And we know that sinc function is defined like this. Sine pi f divided by pi x. So <coughs> we can multiply here by t. So this, if you take this, we can write it as sinc sinc f t and this will be 2 a t excuse me if I have done something wrong let me see because we are here replacing t with t by 2 so pi f t here I should also put 1 2 right this we have missed so here there will be term of 2 here here and here also so those two two will get cancelled so <clears throat> now we have seen the pf or the spectra or the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse is a t sinc f t and now if you observe this uh, uh, sinc function you can see that this quantity this quantity and just evaluate the area of this pulse so this gives you area of the pulse in time domain 
so if we evaluate the Fourier spectra of a rectangular pulse the <coughs> term the term outside this sink function gives you area of the uh, rectangular pulse and this quantity if you see width if you see the width is t gives the width of the pulse pt and the area of pulse pt So if we evaluate the Fourier transform of a rectangular pulse, it gives you a sink function and the, the term outside the sink function gives you area of the pulse Pt and the, uh, and the argument of sink function is this f is the variable, right? And the second term will give you width of the pulse Pt. So once you know this, you can evaluate the Fourier transform of any pulse which is shifted by this is any pulse of width t and amplitude a and if the midpoint of this pulse is start at point alpha so you can say that you have just shifted this pulse now this is nothing but p of t minus alpha this new pulse p1 t is nothing but p t minus alpha because now you have shifted this pulse to left alpha alpha times right so as you know using this formula this is a very general uh, rectangular pulse right? which have a bit t amplitude a and you can just midpoint of this is alpha away from the origin so p t minus alpha will be e to the power minus j 2 pi f alpha times p. So that is this is how you can evaluate the Fourier transform of any general rectangular pulse which is having bit t and uh, height a and whose midpoint starts alpha away from the origin. Thank you.